Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 4th to the 10th of January 2021. So as I'm doing these on New Year's Eve, Leo, Happy New Year. It will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay, so there is a message of take action. It is an energy of action, the need to act. It's interesting that visual of someone getting the getting on the horse, taking the reins, charging ahead, going for something now. Definitely an energy of being energized, taking action. Okay. So let's pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. The third card is advice from spirit. The fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Leo. 4th to the 10th of January, 2021. So what do we have for Leo? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Six of Cups. Your current situation, your challenge is the Lovers. Card of Gemini. The Death card is Advice from Spirit. And the Page of Swords is your outcome. Okay, let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Leo, please. Message for Leo, please. the 10th of January 2021. Let's clarify these cards on the table. Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. The Lovers is clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Death card is clarified by Temperance. The Page of Swords is clarified by your card, Leo, the Strength card. And the bottom of the deck I have the Nine of Wands. interesting because it, it feels in this situation, Leo, it, the, the, the Six of Cups can be a card of, it can sometimes be a card of someone from the past coming back into your life, but it can also be about mem memories, nostalgia, looking back. It feels that's the situation because the, the Ten of Cups is, is to do with a, a blissful relationship. I mean, it can be to do with marriage. It's an established relationship over years. Um, and it feels like you've built a home, a family together. Uh, there's an energy of, of putting attention, hard work, dedication towards a relationship, to providing for the relationship, the family, if there's a family, is bringing, it brought in your happy ever after, your hopes, dreams and wishes, coming to fruition for everyone. You know, it feels like a blessed relationship, the rainbow of blessings. And the Six of Cups is a joy, but it feels like a joy that's linked to the past, looking back, um, looking at what was and how happy you were. 
And then we have the Two of Pentacles and the Lovers, which is in the challenge position. Now, the Lovers is to do with a, a, a deep soul connection, uh, the perfect match relationship. Uh, can also be a card of choice. It used to be called the Choice card originally in Tarot, and then obviously they changed it to the Lovers, but it was always called a Choice card. And it used to be a choice between one person choosing between two people. Um, either a man choosing between two women or a woman choosing between two men. So it was always called the choice card and it can be in terms of matters of the heart. It feels your challenge is that there needs to be a choice. Now, the two of pentacles, it can represent a situation that feels overwhelming. Um, I need to somehow bring balance back to the situation. I need to deal and grapple with this situation, you know? It feels like you might be dealing with a situation because there is some disharmony or something has caused disharmony in a relationship and you're just grappling with it. Now, this can also be a card of a choice between two things. So it could be a choice between two people, two paths. Um, And the message of the the message of the from spirit is the death card, and both of these are linked because the death card and the temperance card. The, de the temperance card comes after something ends, so this comes after the death card in the major arcana in the flow because the death card is an ending or deep change in your circumstances and the temperance card is how you make sense, how you recalibrate, reevaluate your priorities, your beliefs and how you get balance back, move forward, find your flow again, how you adapt to the changes of what the death card has brought. So there's definitely an energy here of something feels like it's ended and you're grappling with the situation here, Leo, and how you move forward. But I love the fact that, you know, this fire energy is around you because, you know, that temperance, this fire energy, it's a card of Sagittarius. The, the Sagittarian energy is all about firing, the, it's the archer, he fires the arrow into the air, and then the arrow goes beyond the immediate visibility. Um, which is a great energy of now is the time for new journeys, new horizons, new adventures, you know, by finding your balance, find, adjusting, adapting, um, adapting your beliefs is allowing you to move forward, find your flow again after something has changed in your circumstance and it feels like some kind of relationship has ended and it's been difficult to move on from the past. It feels like someone has been looking back um, with sometimes an energy of rose tinted glasses here because again it, it feels like you're adapting to a situation there's this feeling of needing to adapt I need to somehow get my ducks in a row again find balance focus on the things that I need to prioritize now in order to move forward but that is your challenge position here but there's definitely an energy of this, oh, even though this feels overwhelming, it is definitely within your power to deal with. You know, this person is juggling. Sometimes you see them juggling and dancing at the same time. And even though they're doing that, they're not dropping the pentacle. So even though it feels overwhelming, it is about prioritizing, focusing on how you need to move forward. It is an expansive energy, the two of pentacles. It is a card of good things want to come into your life you know it's jupiterian energy in capricorn but there is a feeling of you just need to you know go at your own pace in your own time adjust adapt focus on priorities um, to, to move forward and again that temperance energy again is that finding the balance finding the middle way through what has been uh, two opposing extreme forces so it feels in this situation 
it might well have been that you've been through some kind of like deeply extreme or difficult situation. We have water in one end and we have fire in the other. Um, but when you mix water and fire together, they create steam. So it's about how you adapt and blend the right ingredients for you now in moving forward, finding your flow. But there's definitely an energy of new horizons back in new journeys, new adventures, finding your flow to bring progress into your life now. It's a card of adapt to change, to a changing environment. And the death card is a card of out with the old, in with the new. It's the Phoenix Rising card. And it feels like you're being asked to be the Phoenix Rising from spirit. Because the Phoenix actively destroys the old in order to embrace the new. You know, and it feels that that's what you need to do now in order to find your flow, to move forward, to adapt to a changing environment. Because the phoenix rises in its true light by burning away the old. Um, it's a cathartic energy, it's a cleansing energy, it's a purification energy, the death card. Where you're emerging from the chrysalis into the butterfly. Transformation, deep, deep, deep transformation in your life. But there's definitely an energy of... Yeah, there's some adapting that you need to do, but you will find your flow. And that's what Spirit is telling you. And the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords can be to do with getting perspective. I mean, it's the Wind of Change card for me as a reader, sometimes the Page of Swords. It can be about inherently learning, um, uh, finding, it can be about wisdom, finding um, knowledge. It can be about getting perspective. And the pages are the beginnings of change, the beginnings of something new. How you need to focus on moving forward. And again, having the strength and courage to face your fears, to face your challenges and adversities. And be resolute in your power to overcome them. So it feels like... A new perspective or looking at something in a different way or getting clarity in how you need to move forward maybe decisions choices here leo um but the page the page of source definitely feels like you're ready for that new perspective you're ready to focus on moving forward i mean it feels very cord cutting energy as well cutting away the past and being in your power of coming back to yourself, reconnecting to who you are, you know? So it feels very beautiful. But this Nine of Wands is a card of, it can be a card of something is nearly over, but it can also be a card of don't hold on to the past because the Nine of Wands is one away from the Ten of Wands. There's one one to go and at the 11th hour, they are potentially holding back their doubts, their fears, their energy drains, and they're thinking, well, can I go? I'm just at that point ready to give up. But the message is persevere, keep going, keep taking action, because you're so close to bringing change to your situation. You know, and it feels like things are about to get so much better. It definitely feels like this is you coming into your own again once more, the Phoenix Rising card. But there is some kind of energy of out with the old, in with the new now. And adapting to a changing environment, Leo. And the need to take action, the need to keep going. Because this is also about not fighting a battle when the battle's over, you know. This is about the acceptance of adapting to moving forward and moving on from the past battle, the past journey. So it's a powerful message for some of you and it feels very beautiful. And the, the universe absolutely wants you to embrace who you are. I mean, this is a great energy that leads to rebirth. It's an energy of now is the time to rise in your light. Now is the time to reconnect to who you are. Now is the time to shed the old skin of what's gone before because it is time for the new to answer you. Adapt to your changing environment because for some of you, it is an energy of the new is about to unfold and it feels very hopeful. 
And that's why the universe is. And that's why I saw that picture so clearly, because this is about getting back on the horse, taking the reins of your life and charging ahead in that fire energy of yours, you know, and there's definitely an energy of your being assisted by that rainbow, God, the divine, the universe. It's almost kind of like it's to create a new rainbow. You know, sometimes you see this as the rainbow of blessings. And it feels definitely in this situation, now is the time to create that new rainbow. You're being assisted. You see the rainbow again? You're being assisted by God, the universe, the divine, to greater blessings ahead. So don't hold on to past journeys that don't serve you anymore. Powerful, powerful energy. And it feels very beautiful, certainly at the time of New Year, because, you know, it can be about setting new intentions. It can be a card of you're shedding off the past 2020 or whatever, whatever happened in 2020 and being ready for rising in your light in 2021. So there's a real cleansing, a catharsis here that's needed. But definitely an energy of anticipation and finding your flow for greater things ahead, greater adventures, new journeys. So don't hold on to the past journey because there are new journeys to be had. It's a beautiful energy, Leo, I have to say. Okay, I mean, I love the fact that the life energy card has come out because this is the sun in, in your energy and you're ruled by the sun. So it is a card of, of giving you new life. And that's what the death card is. It heralds in a period of new life for you, uh, rebirth. We have the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. It's about stepping into your light now. And we have flourish. The lotus flower tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. The lotus flower in particular, Leo as well, is a card of opening. It opens in the daylight to the sun's energy, you know, the sun. So there's definitely an energy of now is the time to open in your light to absolutely receive greater happiness, fulfillment, joy, moving forward and shed an old skin because it's your time to flourish. It's your time to grow. It's your time to, this is about spiritual awakenings and new beginnings with the, with the lotus flower. And it feels very appropriate given the time of year. So it's a lovely, lovely message for you to reconnect to who you are absolutely be back in your power reconnect to that fiery energy of yours and the resoluteness the charisma the persuasion the influence that you have over your own destiny when you're in your power okay so that is your reading for the week very powerful very beautiful i hope you enjoyed it leo and um, i wish you a wonderful new year and i will see you next time thank you